Well, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well. I thought I'd bring you something a little bit different today. And what it is, we've just had our annual Norfolk Angling Club Awards evening. And what we do is every August Bank Holiday Monday, we assemble on the cliffs at Kelling, where we have a lovely barbecue, which this year was manned by John Catchpole. He produces some lovely beef burgers and hot dogs. And after we've finished with that, we move on to the presentation of trophies for both the Winter League right the way through to the Summer League. So there's two separate competitions there with winners in various categories moving right through the whole calendar year, as you can see by the pictures. Some very proud people winning the trophies. Uh, none of this would obviously be possible without the brilliant organisation of Simon Bottomley and, and Roger Cunnington, amongst others. We have various other people who help out with the pegging and the other bits and pieces. John Hall is on hand this year presenting the trophies and he also is responsible for supplying a lot of the bait on our Monday night matches, which makes things so much easier when you can just put an order in and it's, you turn up and it's there waiting for you. Also Dave Mathers, throughout the year, he supplies bait as well. Thank you very much for all your hard work and running around. So what we do is we, after the presentation of all the trophies, we have a little few Coca-Colas and then we all move down onto the beach for a little pleasure session. So that's what I'll be doing next. Okay, so we've had our presentation night and uh, what we normally do is have a little bit of a pleasure fish afterwards and we have like a pan in the pot for the biggest round and the biggest flat. So I've just brought one of my Conti rods tonight, a thick spool reel. And at the moment I've got a, a little two up flap out with long uh, flowing traces, about two foot long snoods, size one hooks, and they're baited with rag at the moment in the gutter, just in case there's a rogue bass. And, but what I wanted to try tonight is this little pop-up system a lot of them use. So when the mackerel are about and they're uh, mid-water or above, the idea is we put out one of these rigs, it's got a pop-up float on the top like that, and then it has a couple of small baited hooks, size fours, baited with little strips of fish, one or two on the snood like that and that's popped up on a hook link the length of that trace off the bottom one in this case it's a six foot so they're going to be fishing about a foot and two foot below the surface that's the idea and we fix fix it onto a little rig like that which is basically a nylon version of an earth rig and a little plain lead there tiny little strips of mackerel i'm going to give that a few little tries before sun goes down just in case there's the odd mackerel or garfish about uh, if not as soon as it, the sun dips down i'll concentrate on them bass probably have a couple of smaller hooks rigged up see how we get on so it's only a little bit of fun after the presentation night we've got uh, john's bolton next door with his new dog there scoop on the beach so Learning the last time I saw John, he had him on a long training lead, so he's obviously uh, starting to get the hang of it, and he's now wandering around on the beach. He's just been in for a quick paddle. Uh, he came up and had a quick sniff at the bait, but he didn't hang around, so that's a good sign. Yeah, so what I should do now? Concentrate on this. Here he comes. He's like a racehorse look coming down the beach. He's off. Is going down to the next peg. <laughs> okay, so tonight we're with Norfolk Angling Club and we've just had our annual presentation and we're at Kelling tonight and that uh, platform you can see there is something to do with a project called Horn C3 which is bringing, I believe, a power line in from the wind farms onto the shore and then across country to where it distributed. So, as I say, we've had our presentation night and what we normally do is we all then go down onto the beach and have a couple of hours pleasure fishing. It's just before eight o'clock. I think we're gonna fish till about half 10. Um, basically, we just have a little uh, a pool between ourselves, which, which is the largest round fish and we also have the largest flatfish. It's just a little friendly pound in each pool. So the 
conditions we're on the tides at the bottom it's just about starting to flood and probably not expecting too much I've got got the pop-up rig out tonight which I've been um, experimenting with so I haven't had any takes yet on the pop-up rig and I'm going to fish that until just before dark the idea that it picks off fish higher in the water column feeding off the bottom and then as soon as it gets dark I've got some lovely fresh rag which I'm going to fish on the bottom for a bass maybe or even a flatfish so that's the plan tonight just nice to get out 16 or 17 degrees still as you can see it's virtually flat sea it's quite clear in the edge there this time of year normally you would be catching mackerel now right up until the sun goes down but they've been very scarce lately so that's what I'm going to do I'll probably give it 15 or 20 minutes re-change the bait and check that the bait's still on there and then as I say once dust comes I'll change the rigs over have a little one up one down baitable rag See if I can scratch a bass out. Well, folks, been a bit of a disappointment, really. The uh, pop-up experiment, although it actually worked, I could see the uh, float lifting the baits up off the bottom when I dragged it in close, just before it got dark. Uh, didn't seem to be any sort of fish there. Having a go at it. Um, I think there's been very little caught tonight. As I say, it's just coming up to 10 o'clock, so I've been fishing for about two and a half hours. And I think I've only seen on the group chat one mackerel, a decent sized mackerel to be fair. But very little else to be caught, so uh, no change there for me, for Kelly. I think the struggle here. But um, I've been fishing two hook flapper rigs with massive great rig ragworm baits on one cast and then smaller pieces in the gutter on another just to see if I can snare a flatfish but no, not even had a bite or nothing tired's easing up now I've just had to move back for the first time tonight so I've only got half an hour left so not really expecting much and then uh, it's roll up next week first uh, winter league match which is on another North Norfolk beach at Bacton, so fingers crossed that fish a little bit better than this has. So if I don't get back to you anymore, it means I have blinked, and we'll see you next time. Tonight's presentation and the little fish off afterwards. I didn't manage to catch anything then, so what I've decided to do is to use up a few ragworms I've got left, is I'll pop down the cart gap. It's now Wednesday evening, it's an ebbing tide and I've just brought one rod, the rest and a couple of little two hook rigs that one's got booms on it, the other one's a two hook flapper so I'm just going to give it a couple of hours tonight use up the rest of that ragworm see if I can't land myself a little bass or a flatfish of some description it's been a fairly um, busy warm day again today but as we got here at six o'clock beach was just emptying out so i've come down tonight with the, the wife and the two dogs they've got a chair up and the dogs are relaxing on the beach so it gives me a couple of hours fishing time well folks it's just coming up to eight o'clock now and my last cast is out i've only got through about 20 rag tonight just a little couple of hour session to use up the bait I haven't had a single bite when we first started out tonight there was a little bit of weed on the leader uh, and that's gone now it looks almost ideal but uh, no no bites at all so I'm going to call it quits I've not wasted the bait and it's worth it for a couple of hours it's still like I don't know 20 degrees at the moment so nice and cool down here so I'm going to call it quits and have a quick pack up and I'll see you some point soon. Dogs 
either seen another dog or she's uh, had enough. What's the matter? You, you want to go home? Do you want to go home? Yeah? All right then. We'll take the blank and we'll go home.